organ is very special to the house. It's sort of the soul of the house. Even when it's not being played, just its, its presence uh, connotes a, a grandeur of a time gone by. And they're priceless instruments. They're very expensive to maintain. And so if you do maintain it, it's a labor of love. This instrument was constructed and installed in the early 1920s uh, for the Candler family. This is a 55 rank uh, Aeolian residence role playing pipe organ and uh, it has uh, over 3,000 individual pipes uh, which are spread in seven divisions or seven different locations throughout. The uh, family lived here from 1920 through 1959, and I understand it was a very uh, glorious time for them. They had many, many visitors who came to the house, lots of entertainers. It was a very um, uh, lively place and uh, a very enjoyable uh, experience for the people who came here. The uh, house was designed around the installation of the organ. There's no place in the house that you can go without hearing the organ when it's being played. And it speaks uh, in all the major rooms of the house through what we call tone shoots. And uh, the majority of the organ is in the attic. And the sound comes from the attic through these tone shoots to the individual rooms. This instrument has a very rich sound. And to be able to sit down at one of these big consoles, it's like uh, being a symphony conductor. You uh, can sit and, and pull all the different sounds, the different rhythms from one instrument. The uh, organ is really a one-man band, so to speak. And there's a great sense of power uh, playing this instrument when you open it up. The organ is used today for various recitals. We've done organ teas, organ dances. We also do silent movies with organ accompaniment. As an accompanist of a silent film, it's wonderful to be able to uh, touch people's emotions, whether it, uh, it's an angry scene, a violent scene, a love scene. The great thing about silent films is the wonderful creativity and the cinematography, which was used uh, from the 1915 on. Uh, people don't realize that uh, everything, of course, with the silent film was based on the cinematography and the facial expression, expressions of the actors and actresses. When I'm doing a silent film, 95% uh, of my attention is actually on the screen. If uh, there's supposed to be a scene where people laugh and you don't do your cue correct, or if you don't have the proper music and people don't laugh, then you have to immediately read the audience to make sure that, that what you're doing is, is having the proper reaction on the, on the audience. After the first 10 minutes, uh, if you, you should completely forget that I'm even here, that you've become so engrossed in the silent film uh, that I know I've done my job. When you're here all by yourself on a windy night, you can actually hear the uh, wind through the pipes, and it makes a little bit of an airy sound, somewhat of a groan, and uh, you know that the house is alive, and uh, it's a beautiful experience. <laughs>